jump on into the show. Loads of things to talk about. So if you've got yourself a little drink, definitely grab one. I've got myself a little water, as you can tell, because I'm still fasting, still on that game, doing that thing. You know how it is. So um, if you've got something else to nibble on, whatever, make sure you get that and let's jump on in. Mm. 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 Nothing like a good old bottle of water after 16 hours of fasting. <laughs> You gotta have to convince your brain that it's tasty, isn't it? <laughs> is there anything worse when you see someone? Honestly, that's maybe a trend that I only noticed. But is, it, is, it, is there anything worse when you see when you're on the train or you're out and about somewhere and you see somebody, you know, clearly obese, but they're like holding onto a bottle of water or a flask and drinking it on the train or something? It's like, like the water isn't gonna, <laughs> water's not gonna magically make all those pounds, you know, melt away from your body, mate. You're going to have to put down the, the Kit Kats and the double cheeseburgers. That might be a good option to go around it. But I always find that hilarious. Like people, Some people are like, like um, I think I saw a video actually of um, Wings of Redemption live streaming. And he he's another one of those kind of guys. He's always got a bottle of water next to him drinking a bottle of water. It's like, don't get me wrong. It's better than nothing because I think there are some people in those my, my 400 pound life guys who are like allergic to vegetables and the taste of water makes them bath. So... Fair enough, that's better than nothing, but, you know, you have to couple up the water and the sleeping well and the working out to actually make some effective change. But again, what can you do? 